Welcome everybody, we are at Bed Supper Club. I'm Daniel, what, you watching my second home? I'm here with Tip. Hi Tip. Hi. Okay, Tip is gonna be my uh, guide, personal guide here at Bed Supper Club for the Halloween night. So stick around, it's gonna be a great, great night. So we're gonna go inside? Yeah, okay. They're waiting for us inside. So let's go inside. All right, so we're walking inside the white room, right? So, well, oh, here we go. That's what we were expecting, you know, all these people in costumes. Looking scary, scary, scary. So it's all about Halloween, all about bad supper. Stick to not change the channel. All 
right, we are upstairs in the white room. It is super cool, chilled. Everybody's getting ready to be, you know, Halloween crazy and sick, I guess. But foremost, we are here with Marcel, the new GM of Bad Supper Club. Hi, Marcel. So how you doing? Hi, thanks very much for coming here. Thank you for uh, taking the time and for sure this will be a very sick night. <laughs> there we go. I hope we got a lot of nurses downstairs. We have nurses and it gets worse. We have doctors who don't know anymore what they're going to do. So be ready for something terrible. There you go. It's all about Halloween. Stick tuned. I'm Daniel. This is my second home. All right, we're right back here with Marcel. All right, let's talk about a little bit. You know, the name of the show is My Second Home. It, you know, we I go and interview a lot of people that, such as yourself, successful people here in Thailand that made uh, Thailand sort of uh, their first home. Would you agree with that statement? Would you say that Thailand is your first home? It very much became my first home. It's actually not my first home. It is my home. I came here 17 years ago to Thailand. I fell in love with this country, the people, I loved the hospitality, the, the smiles, the, actually a lot of things which almost sounds like what most people say, but really it, it went straight into my heart and I just love it. It's, it has become my home. Going back to Europe, I still do it once or twice a year. I really enjoy to go. There are a lot of values I enjoy. Food, wine, I love these things. Countryside is nice, but I go there as a tourist. My home is really Thailand. So you come back home to Thailand then? Exactly. exactly. Every time I go, it's for me really looking forward to go because it's a vacation. But sitting again in the airplane to go back to Thailand, I feel I'm going back home. And it's really fantastic. You know, we've, have, we've heard that a lot uh, before in the show, right? So let's talk a little bit about your, you know, your history. You've been, lived, you've been living here for 17 years. What is, you know, what's in your past? Is it hotels? Is it, you know, hotel management? What, what have you been doing in your life? It started that I did the hotel management school in uh, Switzerland. And for hotelier Thailand, Asia, and especially Thailand is really the place to be. So it was uh, a dream, it was a necessity to come to Thailand for me. And I was lucky enough to do, find a job and be employed by Amari Hotels and Resorts for quite a long time, started in the hotel business. And then really again, luck, I was able to move to music retail business and managed for many years Tower Records, wow. later on CD Warehouse. All right. So uh, let's talk about you know, the, the new face of Bad Supper Club. Uh, uh, you know, I've seen you know, new faces, but familiar faces to myself, people that I've known for a long time here in Bangkok. And the first thing that I think about is like professional restaurateurs. So, we were talking a little bit about, you know, off camera, about the concept of Bad Supper Club. It's, it's not only a club, is it? Exactly. And I think that's the fascinating part of Bad Supper Club. It's a bar, it's a club, and I think this everybody knows. But it's actually also a restaurant. And the restaurant is a concept which is unique for Thailand. It's unique, I would say, even for the world. You come here, you dine, you don't only eat in an atmosphere which is really outstanding from the decoration, from the surrounding atmosphere, but also because of the food itself. It's really innovative, it's amazing food, cutting edge. Then you also have every night a show. You have entertainment, theme nights, and that really makes a dining experience, I would say, 360 degree experience and fun. Right. Yeah, I do totally uh, um, agree with that. Uh, the idea of, you know, for, for the people, for the few people that haven't been here is, you know, to lounge back on these huge sofas and eat a little bit like they did, you know, the ancient Romans would, you know. What you gonna do? 
let me tell you a little bit of what I mean about uh, a fun night, a fun dining experience here. It's not just eating, it's entertainment. And when I talk entertainment, then it is about F&B events. This, you're gonna say, everybody does it. Food paired with wines or cognacs or whatever, uh, whiskies, uh, teas, everybody does it in the world. But we have dinners where we have international artists, live bands coming. We have acrobats, guys walking on the ceiling doing amazing performance, pa pantomimes. We have musical acts, we have non-musical acts and that really is the heart of Bad Supper Club. Wow, did you guys see the passion out of Marcel? I am astonished. Well, you know, we're gonna be right back. I wanna say thank you for taking the time. I know you're very busy tonight, so thanks for stopping by. And uh, we're gonna see much more of Marcel in the future and the f for the uh, future parties coming up here at Bed Supper Club. For the time being, thank you, Marcel. I will see you later. Thank you, thanks very much. And it's gonna be a sick night, and I hope to see you very fast or very soon here at Bed Supper Club. There you go. So don't go away. After the break, I'm going to sit and talk with uh, Elle. She's a local DJ and resident DJ here. Super sweet. Don't go away. You don't want to miss this. I'm Daniel, and this is my second home.